<laughs> Welcome to part five of this multi-part Flappy Bird coding challenge. I anticipate only at least 600 more parts to go. <laughs> I think this might actually be the last one. So look what I've got. I've got this bird. It jumps. It doesn't jump. It fits through pipes. It does what I, it, I've always dreamed it would do. But I want, here's the thing. Now, I have this. And what if I just, by accident, I'm over here and I'm like, oh, whoops, and I hit refresh. That bird, that bird that I've loved <laughs> is gone forever. I will never get it back, never. I might be able to get another bird that's similar, that does as well, but I will never get that original bird back. However, I'm gonna, that's why I'm gonna add another feature to this thing. So uh, the feature that I'm going to add is save and load a particular bird. Okay, so I, uh, I what, what I want to do, let me let it, let me let it train again. So I'm going let, to let, let this go. Actually, the thing is when I, when I tab away from the browser, <laughs> the browser is smart and stops the animation from going, so it's actually not continuing to train, but that's fine. And what I want to do, actually, there is a function inside of the neural network library called serialize and deserialize. Now, I actually didn't implement these functions in a tutorial. You could act, if you want to see how the neural network library was built, I have a 10 part or something video series building the whole library. But through a pull request, I have returned to show you the actual pull request where the serialize and deserialize methods came in. Thank you to Engine Feeder 101 who made this pull request on February 10th, which was a little while ago. Um, so if I go back to those functions, you'll see that, look at this, json.stringify this. Well, okay, so let's say I have a simple class. Like, let's say I have a particle class. Class, boy, lots of squeaking going on here. Class particle. And in the constructor function, I set like this dot x equal to something, maybe it's a random number, and this dot y equal to something, maybe a random number. So then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to write some code like this. Let p equals equal a new particle. And what if I now say json dot stringify p. What do I get? Well, what I get is a string, raw text, that is the JSON formatted data that is part of this particular instance of a particle object. Now, if there's methods and functions in here, those won't be included, but if all I want are the sort of variables, the properties of the particle, what's its current velocity, what's its current x, y location, then I'm going to get that stuff. This is going to give me a string that just looks like this, x, you know, whatever it is, uh, 100, comma, y, you know, 20, and curly bracket. So even though the neural network is much more complex, this is doing exactly the same thing. It's basically saying, hey, all that stuff that's part of the neural network, all of the values of all of these weights and things, just serialize all that. Put it all in a big JSON file. Let's take a look at what that actually looks like. So, um, so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my code. I'm going to go to the bird code. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to go to the sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, is there a mouse press? I'm going to just, I'm going to add key pressed. What I'm going to do when I add key pressed is I'm going to say uh, let b equal population index zero. So I'm going to pick just one bird from the population. Uh, eventually I want to like get the best one, the one that I want to save. Then I'm going to say, uh, and I'm going to call this a bird. Then I'm going to say let json equal bird dot serialize. And all this is doing, right, I could have just right here, I could just say let json equal json dot stringify bird. So the serialize function just does this for us. It calls json.stringify. So I'm going to do that. Then oh, I'm going to do something totally insane. Actually, I'm not. I'm just going to say console.log json. Let's just look at it in the console. And I'm going to say if key equals s. So I'm only going to do this uh, if I've pressed the s key. And I feel like there's something weird in JavaScript or P5 where I actually say the capital S, but whatever. Let's figure that out. So here we go. Let's go here. So all these birds are going. I'm now going to press S, and population is not defined. 
because it's not called population, it's called birds. That would be nice to call it what it's called. And now I'm going to uh, press S, bird.serialize. Oh, right, of course. It's not the bird object that has the serialize function built into it. It's the brain. It's the bird brain, the bird brain. So this also should have been json.stringify bird.brain. OK, we're getting there. Brain is the neural network object inside of the bird. That's the only thing that I care about to save. If I wanted to save more stuff, I'd have to do that. But right now, we're good. So I'm going to do this. We're going to get it. Hit save. And look at this. You can see, look at that. This is all the data. These are all the values that are in all those arrays. It's all the stuff. So guess what I can do next? I can say. Uh, save JSON, bird.json, JSON. So I, I think this function in P5, the save JSON function, will save the data. Oh, actually, interestingly enough, it's already made into a string. Oh, this is so interesting. I think I actually don't need to see. So I could just say, um, I could just say save, because this is technically a. Oh, Okay, I, I've, I've waded into territory that I didn't want to wade into. But the save JSON function in P5 is designed to take an object that hasn't been turned into a string and turn it into a string so you can save it. Whereas what I want to do is I already made the thing into the string. I just want to save the string. So let's actually try a few different things. <laughs> just for fun, let's try saying save JSON bird, uh, sorry, uh, bird.json, and then bird. So I'm not going to bother with serializing it. I think the p5 save json function will do that for me. So let's do this. Then I'm going to hit S. And oh boy, uh, we got some crazy errors. Save json. So let's look up the reference. Save. I probably got the order wrong. Save json p5.js. Let's look at the reference. And let's look. Ah, the data goes first. And then the name of the file goes second. OK. So bird, comma, bird.json. There we go. Now let's try this again. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to hit S. And you can see, oh, look what just happened. Right down here, the browser downloaded a file called bird.json automatically. So I don't have any real file management capabilities from the client, but I can auto trigger a download to go directly to the default downloads directory of the browser. So I can now click here and say show in finder. And now I should have, look at that, this bird.json file. Whoops. Um, and what I should be able to do is then drag that and take a look at it in Atom. So there it is. Look at this. This is actually, oh, I saved the whole bird. Look at this. I didn't mean to do this. I saved the bird's x and y, its gravity, its lift, its velocity. And look, now I saved its brain, input nodes. So I forgot, of course, all I want to do is just save the brain. So what I can do now is I can change this to, um, I go back to bird, and I can change, whoops, sorry, back to sketch, and I can change this to save JSON bird.brain. Okay, here we go. Ready? And I'm going to save that. And now I have another one. I'm going to open that up in Atom. And we can see this is now just the bird itself. So you can see these are the weights. This, 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 this is, sorry, not the bird. This is the neural network of the bird. And these are all of its current weights. All these numbers seem and feel rather meaningless to us, but they're quite meaningful until how, how it works. So now, we can then write another sketch that loads that JSON file back in. So how, how do I want to do that? So actually, before I go and create a sketch that loads the JSON, let's actually make this load a bird that we want to load. So um, one thing that I could do is after, after I'm training for a while, I could kind of find the current bird in the population that has the highest score. So I could say, uh, actually, I could say no, there's only one bird right now. Whoops, no loop. So let, I'm going to do this kind of manually. This is pretty terrible. So now I just want to make sure there's just one bird. So there's just one bird. So this is definitely the one that I want to save. <laughs> so I'm going to hit S, and I got that bird. So now I have the bird that's doing really well, and it's in bird2.json. So I am going to uh, just call this bestbird.json, OK? 
So now, of course, what I would really want to do, and I, I leave this to you, the viewer, as an exercise, is make an interface, auto detect one that's been doing well, trigger the download, make like an upload button that I can upload the best one. But I'm going to do this in sort of a hacky way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make an exact copy of my sketch. And I'm just going to call it Flappy Bird. And I am going to go into Atom. And I'm going to get rid of the genetic algorithm code completely. I'm done. No genetic algorithm here. I am going to go to the sketch and I'm going to say, hey, you know what? I don't need all the birds. I don't need all saved birds. I don't need the counter. Um, all I need is one bird. And I don't need this save thing. And I'm going to just say function preload. I am going to say let data, bird data, or bird brain, bird brain. Then I'm going to say bird brain equals load JSON, best bird.json. Then in setup, all I need to say is bird brain, uh, sorry, bird equals neural network dot deserialize bird brain. Uh, and this is actually, so I should call this brain data or brain JSON. Let's call this, <laughs> trying to make this make sense. Uh, brain JSON, then this is the actual bird brain, deserialize the brain JSON, and then the bird is a new bird with that bird brain. So this is the process of loading the data, then deserializing it into an object, then creating a new bird with that object. Because my bird code, the constructor, accepts a neural network object as the brain. It will remake it. So let's go back. What else do I need to do in Sketch? Uh, adding new pipes. You know, there's only one bird now. So all I need to do is, uh, I'm actually not even going to worry about this. I'm just going to let the bird play. <laughs> And I'm not. If, uh, I'm gonna let the bird go off screen. I'll just like you know. Okay, right, hold on. So in theory, I should do something. If the bird hits the pipe, I'm gonna just say console log collision, just so we see it doing something. If the bird goes off screen, I'm gonna say uh, bottom. And then here, um, oh, that's the pipe. Sorry. Uh, and this is just one bird now. If one bird off screen, I'm just going to say console.log bottom. Oh, so much code to write. And now I can just say bird think, bird updates. This is all the stuff for the genetic algorithm. So I don't need to worry about that. Uh, and then I want to draw, show the bird and show all the pipes. So this is now, I just made a version of the game. Basically all I did was eliminate the genetic algorithm and eliminate the array of birds because there's just one bird. And I also need to make sure I don't want to have this ga.js file anymore and index at HTML. And now I also need to go and grab from my downloads. Where was that? Uh, I need to grab that bestbird.json file. Uh, I'm going to go to the desktop and put it in Flappy Bird. So now this best bird, this is the data from that best bird that I saved. And I should be able to go back to sketch and say best, I called it best underscore bird. So give me a second here. And let's run that sketch. I'm going to run a little web server so I can, oops, I will run it on a different port. So now I'm going to go to localhost 8001, and I have some errors. Um, counter is not defined. So I'm using, I, I left this counter thing in there, which is totally irrelevant. Oh, no, I do need counter. Oh, I do want counter. 
So I need to have the, the counter I need, that's my frame count to know how many pipes. Uh, I is not defined in sketch.js line 36. Pipes, ooh, this should not be a bracket there, right? Because this is me checking all of the pipes. Unexpected end of input sketch. All right, so I think I'm missing yet another curly bracket here. And there we go. So this should be that bird. Right? So now I've loaded the one that I trained. Oh, yay, that worked. I loaded the one that I trained. How exciting. So now what can I do? Let me just to be sure that this is working, let me go back to the other sketch. All right, and let me save another one. So I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to save like a bad one because I'm, I'm, this is just going to be an arbitrary one, right? So I'm going to hit S and I'm going to get this one. And this one I'm going to call bad bird. And I'm going to go to back to my sketch. And I'm going to put bad bird in there. So now I have, whoops, what is this? Sublime is open. Um, I have bad bird. This is all of the weights for the bird that wasn't really trained. These are the weights for the bird that was trained. So if I go here, if I go back to my code and go to sketch.js, you know, and I could, what I, what would be interesting is to run both of them, like to load a few different birds, but now I'm going to load the one that doesn't do well. Let's just see. And let me, by the way, let me set the slider, the default of the slider to, um, whoops, where did I create that slider? Um, oh yeah, sorry. Let me set the default of the slider to three just so it starts sped up. Whoops, I'm in the wrong sketch. So now this is the bad one. Bad one's pretty good. You can see the bad one's not doing very well, right? As opposed to the good one. Which is not colliding. It really should be. Is the collision thing actually saying collide? Did it say it when I did the bad one? Yeah, it is. Okay, you can see that I'm getting lots and lots of collisions with the one that wasn't trained well. So again, this could use a lot of refinement. Like maybe I want to think more systematically. Maybe I want to have an electron app that's actually doing the training and saves the JSON file so I could have some file management. Uh, maybe you're asking yourself, what's an electron app? It's a way of wrapping a, a web page basically into a desktop application so you have more control over your file system. I could write a node. I could have a server-side program written in Node that is managing saving JSON files of birds that I've trained and reloading them. And I could make a bird, flappy bird, API. I'm just going to give you all these different trained birds for different situations. So there's a lot of ways you could go forward with this. So hopefully you got something out of this. I think, dare I say, I'm, there could be a part six. But right now, this part five really wraps it up. Um, I will say that even though, so you're going on the Coding Train website, you will find the exact code for both of these examples. Um, in their kind of raw state, but I'm also making a separate example that I've demonstrated, I, I don't, um, which uh, is uh, here. I'm just going to quickly load it up. That's going that that has a bit more interface stuff to it. So I will also link to this example that will have a bit more that'll be a bit nicer. Like I'm going to do have a save and a load button in here. So this one already has the feature now. If I speed it up and train it for a little bit. Train, 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 train. That I could then say, hey, just show me the one that's done the best so far. So, um, and so now I could save that one and load that one. So I will create that stuff. I'll make that example available. But as an exercise for yourself, try to make it. What can you do? Add some design, add some saving and loading, have, have a computer bird compute, compete with a, a human player bird. I don't know. Be creative, make something, share it with me, and I hope to see you in a future video. Goodbye.